Hey guys, welcome back to D&D with Filthy Friends. We are continuing where we left off. Surprise. That's it, that's a re- oh no. Okay, so uh, last episode, uh, we identified and found Sniven, rescued our loot, invited him to come with us, with us? It's weird saying us now. Jakulth seems to be in some sort of magically induced stasis of some sort, presumably in hell. Uh, <laughs> With both Thaddeus and Tim in his head. Um, being slowly poisoned, perhaps. Who knows? In the, the whiteness, as uh, Dolphin has labeled it. And uh, the party has gone out recruiting. And against all expectations, have found a rogue in a busy bar. So, uh, great. Now we're going to go kill some, fight some people. I'm not even sure. We're going to an arena to do things that you do in an arena. I guess. Because that's the way you convince new party members to join, as you go have a... a well, I get it. They want to see the worth. They want to yeah, know... They, the you've just basically, uh, yeah, you've just basically put forward that it's a... The last party member died, killed by his own party member. You're fighting some horrendous yeah. group of people uh, of overwhelming numbers and desire to kill with looking like... fair. I mean, you guys seem to have come out fairly well, but not particularly great offers of... You know, we could split money four ways, except you put your money into a pot and you maybe get something out of it. The convincing you guys did from my like pure financial standpoint was pretty weak. So um, I guess it would be, it's a little bit more easy to be like, yeah, I'll do that because these guys are amazing fighters. Like I'll actually come out of it alive. So I think that's the rationale. And, and let's let's point out that Chakult isn't dead, he's malingering. Yeah. <laughs> he's avoiding further encounters and, and adventuring with us. He's not dead. Yes. I mean, hypothetically, that gentle repose is going to wear off at some point. Yeah. Yeah. And and then he's going to have a really tortured time, as opposed to the gentle rest he's having right now. Yeah. Let's hope. Yeah. Each yeah. each worm rib supports an increasing <laughs> amount of density <laughs> as it travels closer to the spine. <laughs> This phenomenon is less explicit as you go towards the tail of the worm. <laughs> fucking, fucking place. Place was so bad. All right. It is a segmented worm with an endoskeleton rather than an exoskeleton. And innards rather than outards. And it would be restarted every eight seconds. You'd get through like ten seconds of that and it would begin again. I was there for it. I remember. It's recorded. It's on YouTube. Anyone wants to experience what Chakult has experienced, just go replay that that portion of those episodes. <laughs> All right, Adam. So we're on our way. Yeah. So what you guys just get up, leave the pub, head towards the arena. Yeah. Yep. Any any okay. intro scenes today, or is that our intro scene? Yeah. So um, you don't. Our intro <laughs> yeah. is 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 quite sh quite fast moving as we see um, brother Tyne is uh, running into a temple. Uh, we can't tell what it is as we're coming in through the doorway. And he's it's running up traitor. to um, uh, a very tall human lady who is wearing a set of robes and we can see emblazoned on the, the shoulder is um, the image of Mirabar. And they seem to be in uh, a deep and quick conversation. And she seems um, at first confused, then frightened, then excited. And then they seem to sort of run up into a room as he opens up a book that he'd been writing in uh, with Darius. So he's finished his sandwich order. <laughs> She's beginning confused, frightened, angry, excited. <laughs> <laughs> the cable guy said he would be here between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern, and it's coming up on 4.30. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> Confusion. The cable man's coming today? Excitement. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're headed to the arena all right so have you got pro are you proficient in survival yes Steve? oh steven sorry yeah okay so you roll that because you look at the directions okay do so you want to help does anyone want to help yeah i definitely want to help Let's if you're proficient in survival let's not let Dolph I'm, uh, i got perception and insight they can't help <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you guys, the other person who's you are insightful survival. enough to know that you can't help. Let's get that. Uh, I agree. Uh, <laughs> I know okay. my limits. So as you come in, you come in through uh, a gigantic um, maw of a lion uh, in the shape of a gate. 
and it's got these huge golden like um, parapets on the edge of the wall um, as you come up to this big um, sort of stadium. It's massive. It looks like it could seat, you know, just from the pure size of it, thousands and thousands of people. Um, and you can see there's uh, a couple of different entrances um, that you could approach. Which one of these says killing your friends? Is there one with that on the door? You want to make a perception uh, check? Yeah. When he says that, I do start looking for a door that says that. Okay. You see uh, a sign on the at the end that says, like, <laughs> the duelist's arena. And underneath it, killing your friends. <laughs> So are we fighting with each other? Are we looking for something else? Perhaps, Tim, perhaps there is a monster fight. No, you won't fight monsters in confinement, will you? Monsters in confinement? If there are monsters in confinement here, I might be fighting the people in charge. You can see... Um, <laughs> that would be funny. Thaddeus, there's um, a sign. We fight like the admin staff. Um, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, it's like a wooden sign, and then behind it is like um, another wooden sign that's been like shaped to kind of look like a like an explosion almost, um, and it's like been decorated with this like gold scar ring um, and red paint as well, and it just says um, "Monster Arena" in like this sort of strange archaic text. What's the plan? I'm going to try to deliberately not see that. And is there a place for fighting other warriors besides each other? Perhaps we go down to the duelist arena and see if they have someone for us to duel besides each other. Oh, it sounds sounds like a great idea, Thaddeus. I try to pat Thaddeus on the shoulder, and even though we've been adventuring for a few weeks, I'm still not quite used to him, so I just, like, pat above him and then end up patting <laughs> the top of his head. Sure. Okay. <laughs> So where do you guys head to? Yep, into the duelist arena. Okay, so you guys walk down like a path, and, and uh, you're now sort of enclosed inside the the shell of the building, and um, you can see there's like a, a stall, sort of like a wooden table that's got uh, a few decorations and adornments around it, and there's a guy in like a very lavish looking, um, sort of black and blue, um, set of robes. He looks sort of very um, exotic and. Um, relaxed in, in, in this pose in this chair. Someone was telling us about the Fight Club. Is this where the Fight Club is? Welcome, <laughs> adventurers, to my arena. How can Dazzle help you today? What's your name? Dazzle! And he sort of swishes his hands. And you can I see, um, turn around like a, and start to walk out. There's a, ghost, I go, there's like I a just ghostly go. image of this snake that like surpasses around the whole party. Um, and then like sweeps around his body and then like lands on his hand. Oh, okay. So, that was pretty cool. I've never really been in a big city uh, like this at all. So I'm mostly from a small beach community. All of this is absolutely nuts to me. Like I'm an absolute wonder of everything going on. Just like not even the most spectacular stuff. Just the building is pretty cool. The room I find we're in very impressive. Pleased to meet you. Dazzle. My name is Splatter. Why, hello there, Splatter. <laughs> and I'm Crackle Pop. Mm. And he gives you both like a knowing nod. And what can I do for you today? Are we fighting others or each other? I wish you made that less erotic. <laughs> I may have to kill you. You do well to try. Uh... And he gives you like a knowing wink. Can we fight you? <laughs> and a little wiggle. Can we fight you? Oh, <laughs> how much my, to fight you? My character just starts laughing at that response in character. <laughs> oh, my it's time is laugh. very expensive. <laughs> Your time is very expensive. Oh, I'm used to people who sell their time. <laughs> Can't be more expensive than Thaddeus' last companion. Oh, wait. I'm not your call. Never mind. I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're a rogue now. You have to be nice. Yeah, yeah, clearly. I don't know Jacob if that is well enough. Just five thousand dollars for ten minutes. That's the worst bargain I've <laughs> ever had. You don't last. Uh, sorry. Let's. Uh... So, are there people here for us to fight? 
Why, yes. <laughs> how much money do we make for killing them? Well, how many of you going to fight? All of you? I start counting. I start counting again. And as he sees you, he's like, that's right, mister, it's one. <laughs> Let's begin at the first party member. The first party member is a small dwarf plated mm. in heavy armor. Now look over to the sec. Hold on. Who was the first party member again? <laughs> the first party member is a small dwarf plate. Hold on. Are we counting all of the party members? Well, he's snipping. And the suddenly, still suddenly this whole thing shimmers, and it's just again the worm. The worm's vicious head <laughs> at the top. Each of its bones. First bone. Second bone. And then we zoom out again of Chackle's head back to the party. <laughs> a living hell. Um, after, give us the hard uh, part. after 15 minutes pass, we say four or five. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Four and a half. half. You go into the arena, and those that come out, they get a thousand gold each. And those that don't, well, they they die, and we get all their things. So wait, this is actually to the death. Now my cloak technically. Well, you said you wanted the hard fight, didn't you, sir? So you can't take that, all right? Say again. My cloak technically belongs to somebody else. You can't take oh. that. Well, we'll return it to the center then. So we're going to wander into an arena and take a fight with things we don't know to the death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, this is, you know, last week you guys were accusing me of perhaps wanting to kill my character and I, I wasn't. I was totally indifferent to the outcome. Okay. I, I wonder if, if perhaps this is the DM deciding he wants to play a different campaign. <laughs> we're about to find out. Going in, we don't know. <laughs> I have missed each step. I can get out. So this yeah. is Kevin. It's very likely that this is a magically bound arena where you're not allowed to. It'd be disqualifying, so they just don't allow it. Could be more more spells than you have available, protecting it. Just saying, just throwing that out there. But I'm in. Let's do it. Would Tim's pretty rather... sure he's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Would we rather not kill innocents. I don't I'm not me. inclined to kill innocents. I doubt they're innocent. They're not innocent. They are. Okay. Um, they're all from the Temple of Justice. Wow. <laughs> And they've been converting dwarven uh, villages recently to their god, away from Muradin. And spreading contraceptives to those same villages. Wow. Yeah. Pretty That's... heinous. Pretty heinous. By the way, I am 10 hit points down going into this fight. Just heads up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm being electrocuted, I remember. Yeah, I'm down a level for a spell slot. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, all right so um i i ask how does this work what are the rules and uh how does it how does it begin excellent new challenges approach the rules are very simple go into the arena the arena is contained so no one else can intervene and there'll be no escaping of course you go in and you fight and then you die or you don't and once we're in there, will I have to kill these three also, or only our opponents? <laughs> I mean, I am not you, sir. Perhaps if they mistreat you, you might want to kill them and take their yeah, things. Yeah, and to clarify, uh, you said a thousand gold for each person comes out, or is it four thousand gold split between the four who come out, or whoever comes out? How does this work? Whoever, whoever comes out gets the bag. And he points over to a table, yeah. and as he points this completely blank table that was just wooden it looked really old and decrepit it bursts and it just becomes this perfectly wooden table and then you see um a blanket sheet comes out of the top of it erupts falls down like water shimmering onto the floor and then this plate launches from nowhere onto it and there are these five bags of something on it there. is annoying we and can't they, fight this they guy they seem to be like sparkling and twinkling sure sure i love this guy yeah your prize awaits, challenges. All right, let's do it. Come crackle and pop. Let's see what mayhem we can get into. Excellent. Prophylactic sharers. I don't remember your name, sorry. Is there like a uh, 
Is there a little prep area where we can? So you go, you go through uh, this sort of like thirty foot long corridor, um, <laughs> and you you come to like a completely flat wall, um, and, and you turn around to where the door was where you were, and it's um, changed into a different room, and it looks like a prep room where there's like a bunch of loads of different like weapons. Um, there's a fountain in the center, and above it is like this gaudy strange looking sign that just says drink me and it's got like a strange face underneath it that's like smiling um, I drink it yep you immediately you have a long rest um oh. and restore everything and yep. there's like a large gate um that's uh, just got like uh, bars going across and vertically up and down and uh it there's a like a handprint as if to like it, it um low enough level that anyone could just walk up and push it so are we fighting each other or another party? Another party. Another party. Yeah. Another party. Okay. Um, okay. So if we're prepping right now, do we want... I can do bless. That's going to stop me from doing... I think doing we want it. a bless. Yeah, I feel like we want a bless, right? So I can do a bless. That's going to be my concentration. So if we want somebody else to do it, we can let somebody else do it. Uh, that means I'm not going to be using either hold person or spirit guardians. Do we want Thaddeus oh. to bless instead, maybe? That's the other thought. Well, if I do, then I can't do Shield of Faith on you. Um, what are you casting? Bless is pretty important on everyone, everyone. I think. Also on everyone, yeah. So the the choice is is uh, he using Shield of are you using Shield of Faith on yourself? Um, do we want him using Shield of Faith and using Bless, or do we want me using, uh, let's say, Spirit, Spirit Guardians? Yeah, or... we probably want the most powerful. If we're fighting another party to the death, we probably want the most powerful things we can put out to begin with. So I would... Yeah, like I'm feeling like a wall of fire, like that type of high level concentration versus something like Bless on my side. Spirit Guardian is greater good. invisibility. I just don't know what the competing concentrations are for you, Kevin. So it's like I not I'm not discounting your concentration. You have you stuff. have higher level spells than yeah. Like I have like wall right of fire for like yeah. A you're you're a full caster. Kevin's a third caster. If you want the comparison for spell level. Yeah. So there you go. Up. That's so yeah. I would. So if if, if Kevin can do Bless, that would be great. Yeah, I'll volunteer to bless, but like, Kevin, if you bless, I won't bless. Yeah, I can bless. It means I don't have the armor to, to stand up with, perhaps, but... Right. We'll keep you alive. Okay. Or revive you if you die. Right. Yeah, I'm going to greater invisibility. Filthy, I think. Okay. We'll see how it goes. I'm impressed by everyone having magic around me. <laughs> nice. Prepare to be invisible. Um, so, bless is three. It's three. You can upcast it for four. So I have to upcast it for four. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm also gonna do. I'm gonna ritual cast uh, water walking. Yeah, for sure. It's a tiny arena. Okay. That's the way. You're not actually there yet, but yeah, oh. that's what it's gonna look like. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna. I was like, I'm not just saying that because there's blue on the screen. Like I'm. That was part of the plan. All right, so I'll say. Oh, yeah, just I'm just I'm putting you on this screen so you guys can like update your tokens with all these buffs you're doing and stuff and get ready. Cool. So it's okay. already. Um, um, I think filthy, you're gonna have to input like the health values. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm greater invisibility. Yeah. Okay. It looks like your bar's showing. So. Yeah, my sorry. bar shows. Um. All right. Well, let's do this. It would be nice to get me in there first, especially invisible. If I just get that like even second or so, six seconds ahead or so of uh, everybody else, that'd be ideal. So maybe uh, I, uh, once everyone is like, we're talking about this and the team strategy or whatnot, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to fit in as a new guy, I'm like, well, you know, maybe I get out there, survey it real quick and uh, just take that second. And then uh, you'll, uh, I'll yell when I, uh, when I spot them and you guys come charging out. Isn't, if they don't force us all out at once. Yeah. Is that yelling a bad rogue idea? Well, I'm going to yell. It's perfect to tell you how to do your job, but <laughs> most rogues don't yell, do they? <laughs> I'll, uh, I don't know. He's not your ordinary rogue. That's what I would uh, probably do. It's okay not to. You'd prefer to go out as well. I would like to have a first round here, Kevin. Yeah, no, no. Go ahead. I just, yep. I, I, was, I was asking about the yelling part. Well, you could just wait and time it, I suppose. Okay. 
So let's go. So if we can go out, if we can press, if we can, if I can put my hand on and go out a couple of seconds early, I'd like to do that. Say that again. Are we able to come out as in? Uh, so presumably we palm this plate, and okay, then so something right, happens. You approach the gate, okay. um, and as someone goes up to touch it, Dazzle uh, appears in a puff of smoke in front of you. Ah, I forgot to ask. Do you wish to be spectated, or is this a private fight? Private. Then that is Does all. It change the prize money at all to be spectated? I assume we're making you money at that point. Oh, of course you are, but if you make a certain person in the crowd like your entertaining style, donations have been made before. To Are you, you sure we can't fight this guy? Yeah, it's still my I first mean, choice, you, too. You guys, Roll you guys can initiative. <laughs> you guys can... <laughs> it just reminds me of that fucking clown from last week. <laughs> No, we're not fighting this guy. Okay, so uh, we... let's do let's do it public. Okay, yeah, public, public sounds great, mate. Perfect. Thaddeus yeah. likes to show off too. And he claps his hands, disappears. Okay, and I don't touch the plate again. In case he comes back. <laughs> okay. So uh, how do we how do we start this, Adam? You touch the plate. I touch the plate. <laughs> So the door swings open, um, and ahead of you, you see like a 20-foot um, a corridor leading out into this arena that you can see in front of you. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to sprint, and I want to... I'm, I'm greater invisible so now. So everyone can make a perception roll. Okay. To see what they see. What? How is this a plus one? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so Thaddeus... Oh, it's the uh, wrong thing. Sorry. Hold on. Let me roll it differently. It's the wrong... I was using a macro from previously, and it's not set up set up for Chakul stuff. So there's... Eldrin, you see all of these little creatures on the field. So you see right at the back is a very large stone golem, um, like a mechanical sort of machine that you guys would recognize as like a construct. There are five Dwergar, kind of like in a row. Um, behind them, this pillar at the back... Only Thaddeus can make out there's a small gnomish creature and she's like crafting a magical spell and has just immediately let it go onto one of the, the dwarves. Okay, so uh, we come out and they're already on the field. Yeah, so I guess we can roll initiative now. Come. All right, well, a couple, thing couple things here. Stands. So I'm, I've got invisibility on me, greater invisibility, and I'm attempting to be stealthy. Cool. Attempting to move so quickly, but be stealthy. Does that give you a, like a yes. advantage or plus or a modifier or whatever? I think it's advantage. Okay. I'm not sure though. It might just give me the ability to. I don't have to. We'll have to look into that. I think it might. It might just give me the ability to do it. But I'll roll it at advantage. That sounds good to me. So. Cool. All right. Thought you were stealth, right? Why does it ask me to public? I don't want a fucking stupid thing. All right, hold on. Whisper rolls. GM never whisper rolls. So those uh, those five frontline units are those um, also like mechanoids or those humanoids? They're like dark dwarves. Okay, got it. It can go invisible. Okay. So I rolled a thirty on stealth. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow, that's pretty stealthy. Not, sure. not as stealthy At as what I point was in do the you bar. Even the notice that, do you notice that you exist? <laughs> no. It's not that just rogues don't down? ask that type of question. It's just not a yeah. question that rogues ask. Good. Oh. That's the other one. Five. Okay, great. And then he's in. Okay, is everyone in this list? Thaddeus. Uh. Um. I only see Thaddeus and Tim. Oh, I haven't rolled an issue yet. Isn't yet. Bill Phidias is. All right. Okay. Oh uh, no, Bill Phidias isn't. What? Did you not have your token selected when you rolled? Okay, maybe? so I'll. I'll oh, I did. I did. It should be twelve. You can just edit Am it. Am I then. not on there? You're, yeah, you're on the list. We got to edit it. Okay. Yeah, I'll fix that. I'll do it. Okay. So, um, I'll buy it. Eldrin acts first. Okay. Two questions. So, I guess we'll say so. We'll say the entrance is uh, here. Anybody know I have a square on me? No. Can you see that? No. Um, it's probably your own square from having um, put your finger over top of uh, yourself on the turn order. 
maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if your mouse hovers over the turn order where your figure is, you get, like, a, a yellow indicator. Oh, okay, yeah. It was just stuck there for some reason for me. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sorry. So we'll say the entrance is over here. Uh, I'll say you guys can come in, like, up to 15 foot. You can place your token from, like, yeah. these positions to start. Like, that's where we'll start the initiative order from. Um, All right. And then we'll go from there. I don't... And, so um, I don't you didn't go on. Um, you didn't mention what the red thing up in the stands is. That's not there. Okay. <laughs> well, that helps. Yeah. And I'm going to tell the folks about the um, mini caster behind the pillar as we're coming down the hallway. Okay. So you come, whoever, like as as you guys get out the door, this is what you see. So you see there's um, these big pillars made out of stone, and there's this tiny, strange five foot wide des desert looking sand bridge in the center. You can hear the crashing of waves and even see them sort of reaching up these sides. As who's the first person to go out? Well, it, I want, I want to, well, Probably it depends how we're going to let this do. It's definitely going to be me because I have highest initiative here, but I also was yeah. trying to get onto the field before the rest of our party was there. You can do that. I can do that. Can just go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm trying to do that. I rolled, rolled my stealth already for you. I'm in a greater invest. Okay. Yep. Okay. So what else did you want from us? So you're the, you're the first person to go out. You're maybe how many foot? 10, 15, 20 foot ahead? Maybe even a little bit further than that. Maybe as much as 30 foot ahead. Okay, so 30 foot ahead. Um, so Veritim, Dovidius, and that is you see um, Eldrin slip out into the bright light. And we don't see him because he's, he's greater invisible. Oh, well, <clears throat> you hear him then, I guess. No, I rolled a 30 on stealth. No one hears shit. Wow. We don't know where he is. We're assuming that we are fighting alone right now. <laughs> okay, so I guess you cast a spell on him and he's gone. Yeah. And then yep. who's the first out that isn't Eldrin? Uh, I will be. Because okay. I have the next right. So passage. you can take your turn, uh, Filthy, and then um, we'll go from there. So... Is this a surprise round? It's an important distinction. Did any of them see me coming out with my 30 stealth? No. No one saw me? So it is a surprise round or is it not a surprise round? I would say it is. It is. Okay. But that's exactly All what I wanted. Thank you. Filthy. Just me. It doesn't work that way. Okay. Yeah, no, I figured it didn't. I was just all right. Then uh, it would have been broken. Yeah. So yeah, I can go f from here. I can go as just my normal movement, right? All right. Mm -hmm. So let's look at that. Each square is ten, right? No, these are five. These are five. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. Can I good. see the girl behind the? Um, I'm not quite sure yet here about this. The uh, pillar. Well, you you didn't notice it before. What Thaddeus has pointed her out, so you're now aware that she's there. Can't quite get there. Okay, Can then I'm not cover? gonna. Yeah, it looks like it might be covered too. So, I'm probably gonna go to there instead, and I'm going to uh, attack the first dwarf in front of me. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So I take these as advantage as an assassin uh, when I'm acting before them on the first round. Mm -hmm. uh, and any hit is a crit during a surprise round for me. Okay. Okay, and I haven't set up my triple advantage macro yet, but it shouldn't matter as long as I'm hitting them. So just bear with me on that. All right, does a 23 hit? So you're attacking the one to the north? Yes, it does. Yeah. You can fish for crits, right? But they all auto crit if they hit. Oh, right. This round, yeah. so I don't need to. Um, all right, so that's the first one. That's going to be the second one. And this is going to be the third one. Okay. That's with the bless? Yeah, that's the plus one. Okay, All right, cool. and the damage on this roll is another d6, and the first one rolls sneak attack. So it's going to be a bunch of fucking dice coming out here. So I don't know, Adam, if you want to tell me his health, but it would make you, I'll just start rolling numbers, and you tell me when he dies, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that would well, be... Well, how about we do it this way? Tell me what would happen if you killed him on the first shot and then killed another one on the second shot kind of thing. I'm going to keep shooting... Like I, I, I'm going to keep shooting... Are you going to focus on the dwarves? Yes, because there's okay. a range limitation to right. the next level. Sure. So. And you didn't do the thing where you're taking a minus five to hit? I don't have that till next level. Okay, gotcha. It's the same thing, unknowingly. So, soon. Yeah. Okay, so starting with the first one is uh, damage wise, it's going to be that plus a d6 plus a. I'll do sneak attack on him uh, for this, so it's four d6 uh, on that. Okay, for the first round there then is 33 to him for the first mm -hmm. shot. Uh, second shot is that plus a d6 uh, for 11. And then the third shot is that plus a d6 
four, seven. Okay. Okay, so that's um, three shots. Then I'm going to action surge. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take two more shots. Yep. Holy okay. Crap. Uh, first one goes for a uh, 21. Okay. Okay, and it does... Uh, I wish I'd roll higher than that, but... I just keep rolling ones. <laughs> non -stop. I thought you said these crit. Don't you roll the damage twice? Oh, sh that's, no, that's the extra d6. Yeah, how is it? Yep. Is that all it is? Okay. Yep. So there's um that one, and I've got one more shot, and I'll take it again. You can add the superiority dice, can't you? Oh, shit. I forgot all about superiority dice. Yes, I'm going to add some more dice to these, Adam. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just do it from this one onwards, since I didn't think about it till right now. So I get to add 2d8 to that. And then i got one more shot. Is he still alive, this little fucker? I'm going to tell you what happens after you finish with Okay, you're going to... Oh, I see. So I'm just doing everything, and you're going to tell me yep. how many different people I shot? Okay, perfect. Yep. Beautiful. All right, so then the last one will be a... Uh, 27, and that would do that, plus 2d8, plus 1d6. One minute. 8, and 1d6. There you go. What superiority okay. move are you using? I, I will use push, unless there's a reason not to. Maybe the last one I'd use a trip. Okay, so um, from the perspective of Baratim, as it's his turn coming up next, Baratim comes running out, and there's uh, there's probably about 500 people in the stadium now watching, and they all roar as they see this the challenger come running out. As Baratim steps out, the the shadowy bolts come flying out of the pillar, and three of the dwarves just get hit in all different positions, mostly in I guess you aim for the head. Yeah. Yeah, just to like one shot kills kind of thing. Um, three of them all fall down dead. Um, simultaneously, the this dwarf here begins running forwards, um, as it was his turn uh, after Eldrin. He gets to there. I don't want to um, interrupt that too much, but if that's a surprise round, it's not his turn. It's my turn again. Oh, of course, of course, because they don't get to act right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so then, <laughs> just go straight to just Tim get to go. No, no one else gets to go. Cause... So, I guess I'll just sort it from the top then. So yeah. it's easy then. Okay. So no one gets to go at all. Not even right. your own group. Yeah, because every don't. everyone is surprised. Oh, I cleared it. Yeah. Oh, shit. I just cleared it. Add thirteen point two. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can do mine. Let's just. Add that. Okay. Well, then I guess you get to take your turn again. Yeah. yeah. The second turn is going to be less exciting because I don't get to action surge, but it's still exciting. Okay, um, then I'm going to take two shots at this other dwarf. Um, and I'm still hidden, right? I'm, rather, I'm still greater invis. I'm not yep. hidden yet. Okay, then I'm just going to move. Um, and I'm going to, because of his invisibility, and, because, and you can make me stealth roll again for this, I'm going to attempt to hide, which I can do while I have obscurement. And I have mm -hmm. obscurement from invis. And let okay. me know, so if you need to roll against them, I'm going to be shooting this guy in the south. So you got to, is that, so it's a hide and then fire? Yeah, uh, yeah, it would be a... Like, back to the... Kind Actually, of yeah, I don't, I'm not going to do that. I'll just shoot him. It's fine, I'll just shoot him. Cool. Okay. okay, so uh, let's go ahead and roll those. These are not at advantage. Okay, the first one's a, a 15. So 15. Invisible, more. they should be at advantage. Oh, they are. Sorry, they're invisible. You're right, you're right. Yeah. So it's, a, sorry, an 18. Although yeah. you're not... A, 30 foot range. I uh, should be in 30 foot range. I just ran towards him specifically to be in 30 foot range. Uh, let's go find that out. Mm. So, what are we using? We use snap to corner. All right, I so, so I need to be one closer to him then. Sorry. We'll be one closer to him. Okay. So, 18 hit or didn't? Yeah, that hits. Okay. So, that's the first shot. Second shot then is going to be at. You have three. Yep. Second shot will be a 26, 27, rather. Yep. Okay. And then the third shot will be at a uh, 27. Okay. And that one, I'm going to add a, um, a proning shot on it. So he needs to make a strength check or be proned. So he takes seven, then nine, then seven. Yeah. You still have sneak attack this turn. And I get sneak attack on that. Thank you. Steve. Okay. Who made this character? I <laughs> With Steve, apparently. I, I like, uh, made some final decisions eight? today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
And does if he's alive, which I assume he oh he's died. Never mind. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'm good. That's my turn. Sure. Okay. okay. Um Tim, you come out, Simba as I was describing, and you see these bolts just flying around and you don't even see what where they're coming from. You just see bolts hitting dwarves and dwarves dying. And they're all dead already. That's the big one, one of the mage. Like Shall I just like turn around? Or... <laughs> you can kill what's his face now. Dazzle. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna stand right here, and I'm gonna drop greater invisibility on my party member and cast it on myself. Fuck that guy. <laughs> okay. Thanks for my glorious. <laughs> thanks for my glorious turn one, Tim. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it, it helped it worked a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my turn. That's pretty funny. Okay. This golem runs towards you, and he will. Can everyone make a wisdom save? Fuck! No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I should get a plus one to this because of the close. DC 17. <laughs> this has been the absolute perfect turn for your character. Yeah. We were building this character and it was like, yeah, your character's going to have incredible turn ones. Like if you get high initiative. Yeah. And um, your character's going to be fucking terrible every time you have to make a wisdom save for yep. the entire campaign. Don't, yep. don't forget you've got Bless. Yeah, okay, so uh, it, they're all past. So um, the golem like, does this weird scanning gaze across the whole party, um, and you all get this um, strange lethargy that washes over you for a second, and then you kind of like shake it away, and, and you feel okay. And then he's going to um, slam Baratim. So what's... Have you got anything affecting you? Like, does he get disadvantage or anything? I have greater invisibility, so if he needs to see me, he cannot. Okay. If he, he's disadvantaged if he needs to see Tim. Don't know why it's. He cannot target me with something which requires him to see me, and if he's just attacking me, he has disadvantage. Yep. But if it's a ground okay. slam, he wouldn't, for instance. Right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, so that's the first one. Is that a disadvantage? Oh, he's hitting the floor. Yeah. And it kind of like ripples out to you. Ah, well, he crit the floor. Yep. yep. So, um... so I take 43? Yeah. 43. <laughs> nice roll. Yeah, well, and then he's going to hit the floor again. <laughs> oh! It's a pretty nice roll, too. Holy crap. And do what another... sort of damage is this? This is <laughs> bludgeoning, bludgeoning damage? Yep. So that's 33. Hmm. You down? Okay. Well, I'm down. Okay. So the stone golem comes charging forward, slams into the floor, and... Um, presumably from Tim's perspective, a massive shockwave of pain shoots through him, and he slams the floor again, and then we see suddenly this invisibility dissolve around his body, and he falls to the floor unconscious. Um, this guy this is a guy, nice alpha, too. Let's hope his wisdom saves are bad. Um, good the, the golem then takes a step back, and then this dwarf uh, runs Rolls forward. 3d8. 4, 5, it's 23. Six, there. <laughs> As he gets to there, the um, you see the gnome release this spell across. Um, can, can anyone else count a spell? I can't. It was just you and Tim, right? How is the gnome having an action when he's lower down in the turn order and this is the first Oh round? my god. The okay, the damage on that slam, the 28 and the 5, oh, no, those are right. the same dice rolls. No, those are right. the same <laughs> dice. He got 28 with one pair of dice and 5 with the other. <laughs> Um, no, you're right. So it's just open stone. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I got movement of 30. Let's see how much I can get up here. Say more or less there. Uh, I'm kind of considering just doing triple hold person, just upcasting hold person. I don't. I construct probably isn't a humanoid, so you probably can't hold person the golem if I had to guess. Ooh, good point. Choose a humanoid. You're absolutely right. Uh, should I just let loose on the damage? Don't suppose you have a like a way to get Tim up as like a bonus action, do you? Oh, uh, you know what? I can do. A, I can do a bonus action with my prayer of healing. I believe is a not prayer of healing. It's a mass word healing. I think it's a bonus action. Okay. Do yeah. You have, so do you have the single target one as well, or just the AOE one? Just the AOE one. Okay. 
Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything that's very low level uh, healing bonus action, but no. I... Did you did you spirit guardian yourself earlier? No. Okay. Because that's a concentration. I want to leave myself open to use different ones. Gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Mass Healing Word. Uh, just even though it's... I'm going to be very open with my spell slots. Because yeah, I yeah. imagine this is just max yeah. drop everything we have. So I'm going to use Mass word, uh, Healing Word here. Um, I'm just going to roll it. Okay. Four. Um, and then modifiers for that. Do I have any modifiers? You'd have to read the spell. So. But I think it probably takes your spell casting modifier. Yeah. Um... Yeah, plus your spellcasting modifier. My spellcasting modifier is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, spell attack bonus is 7. Is it the same as spellcasting modifier? No. Uh, it be 4. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be your whatever the attribute bonus is. So for uh, wisdom. Four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Four. Okay, so you get 8. You're back up, Tim. Nice. And then you get your regular cantrip attack. You can't cast another spell, but you can cantrip. You can't cast attack. another spell, but you can cast a cantrip. Okay. Um, that, it, it, sorry, was that a... Um area of effect other people get it too everybody gets it but it doesn't overheal or anything like that yep. right but you were damaged 10 weren't you i got that back from the uh, in the fountain oh right right yeah yeah, yeah. that yep. counts as a long rest so we're good on that one um okay so if i can't cast anything but another cantrip we'll just go ahead and do a cantrip here uh i'm gonna go ahead and do do, 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 do. have we done any damage to this one closer to us i don't, I don't think, think so we haven't done damage to anything on the field all right i'm gonna go ahead and cast um I'll go ahead and cast Firebolt here at the closest gnome. Okay. So I'm going to do, uh, yeah, I'm going to do Firebolt at the closest uh, gnome dwarf. Okay. Does that hit? Okay. Okay. So this bolt pierces his shoulder. He can seem sort of scream at you in, in some horrible dwarven dialect that seems very guttural. Okay. That is. As you come running out, you hear the crowd scream and roar as you see Tim fall down and Dolphin comes running out and this magical beam of light hits him. Tim stands or well, slowly moves back to life and the crowd cheers again as the battle continues. All right. Um... Thaddeus turns slowly around and closes the door and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's time to get my sandwich order. <laughs> I wonder how Brother Tyne is doing right now. <laughs> he uh, was a good guy and I want to talk again. Um, when the crowd cheer, I'm going to make sure that as the crowd's cheering, I'm going to go ahead and make sure my mass healing word is he hitting everybody that it can to be as impressive as possible, even if it's not actually sure. healing anybody. Okay. So I'll imagine I'm mostly just hitting myself, Tim, and our uh, new party member. Yeah. Mm hmm um, all right, so I can get to there. I can misty step to there, but that takes an action. Yes, this is bonus action. bonus action. Oh, then I can still get my attack in. Yeah, lovely. I'm gonna try to prone that guy with a shield bash. Can't use that again because that's a bonus action. You already misty stepped, but you could oh. attack him. All right, so I'll just beat him. Okay. Okay. The golem. So, yeah. Um, that's. One attack. Okay. I had some. And for 15, and I'm going to add a level one smite to that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit him again and add a level one smite to that. That's so cool that you can just turn bless on. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that. It's a new change. It's really good. So All right. 40. Uh, What's that? 40. So you can see uh, Thaddeus slithers forward in a silvery mist appearing in front of this stone golem and strikes it twice, like in a sort of torso leg area. And there are these like big um, explosions of divine light. Um, this, so the gnome here takes a step there, there, and there, and casts a spell across over it onto Counter the door. Counterspell! Um... What? Counter spell. So, what level does it stop under? Stop uh, immediately. Like three and under. Do I know what level it is? I'm gonna roll Arcana. Yeah. Okay. Well, it stops level three immediately. Okay. Um. I guess it's right here. So you need to roll. Is it DC equals ten plus the spell's level? Okay. The gnome can counter his counter spell too. 
if he wants. With a reaction? Can yep. he cast two spells in one turn? Yeah, as long as it's not a yep. bonus action. It can't be a bonus action spell and another spell. I believe it can be a reaction spell and another spell. Uh, if I can do that, she can't do that. Actually. So, is that true there? I'm yeah. not sure that you can do that. Because can. But it's already casting a spell. I'm not sure you can cast two spells at the same you time. Can. Yeah, I think it's, that's, is it simultaneous? Oh. Uh, neither of them are concentration. So, or rather, yes, I'm, well, I'm almost certain you can. I guess we can double check bonus. after, but I'm almost certain you can because the restriction is you can't cast a bonus action spell and another spell on the same turn. And that's not what's happening here. She's casting a main spell, a non bonus action spell, and then casting a reaction. I can't Google search while I have the recording going, but you guys can. Of course. Um, so, so is the shield a reaction? We'll yeah. say, um, because we no, are you cannot do that. You absolutely cannot do that. Why? Because Stack Overflow says it. Because the wizard is currently casting a spell. You can't cast two spells at the same time. Okay, the there's... wizard can use the action and the reaction to cast two different spells at different moments in her turn, but mm. she cannot at the same time be saying the words for two different spells, which mm. is what. There's a you're... Jeremy Crawford ruling on there somewhere, so maybe this is maybe I'm misremembering what it was. We can just go with that for now. It's fine. Oh. This is internet. That'd be obnoxious. Uh, let's find out. If only there was some way to connect to other people during this moment. All right. Easiest way to do this is cut the part here until I figure out my internet stuff. We'll conclude this battle in the next part. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.